All right, looks like it is time to play us some Frogger. Special request by Delios, we are going to tackle Frogger. So I'm going to show you different platforms on which we could play Frogger. Now we're going to start off with the all-time classic arcade console version. So let's play Frogger. Now those of you that never played Frogger before, all you have to worry about is controlling your frog. Make sure you don't get run over, drowned, or anything of that sort. There are no buttons to use, just controller. Just use the D-pad. Pretty simple. But uh, now I know what you're thinking, where's the challenge in that? Oh yeah, there's a challenge, alright. This is just the first stage. Now, you can try to get on top of that pink frog, that's your lady friend. And you get extra points if you guide it to home. You get extra points for that. And you also get extra points for uh, bugs that happen to land inside a free space. And didn't come oh, shoot! I got run over by the first time. I should have seen that pink car coming. And notice how all the cars look all the same. Yeah, what highway allows Grand Prix cars and, like... Race cars that you would find, like, on NASCAR or something. I mean, who allows that? I didn't think those were roadworthy. Okay, now watch out for those turtles, too. They like to dive under. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Dang it. I didn't even... I didn't even pass the first level because I was probably too busy talking. So let me try that just one more time. All right. It's a really fun game. I used to spend a lot of quarters on this. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be on those turtles when they sink. Oh, and I got a fly. Good. Yummy. Now, some of the turtles won't die. But in later levels, you get to ride on alligators and stuff like that. Oh, shoot, shoot. Nope, nope, nope. I wanted to get into that first home. I wanted to get that first one out of the way, because that's the hardest one to get into, is that very first one. Come here, Lady Frog. I got you, babe. All right, let's go. Oh, double the points. Oh, no, no, it went away. All right. Come back, come back, come back. Nope. Didn't, I can't wait around for it. I never got inside of a home area with a bug and a lady frog at the same time. Never had that happen. I was hoping to make history. Okay, I got the fly that time. Too bad I didn't have a lady friend. Okay, I saw a pink frog just for a moment, but she's gone now. Alright, let's get this one out of the way. Now, the last one is going to be the toughest, because you have to, your timing has to be very precise. Oh yeah, and there's, there, there's moments where everything speeds up, too. Namely that... That area of, uh, that, that section of car, uh, that section of freeway. And when that section of freeway goes faster, so do the turtles on the very first road. You notice that? Shoot! I meant to go down. I can't do it! I can't do it! Well, one more time. I want to get to the second level, at least. I can make it to the second level. I do it all the time. I can't... I can't fathom why I can't do it this time. Fly. No, it went away. It went away. How dare that time... that fly do that. How dare it. Alright, let's see if I can get into the first hole. No. Not that time. Timing has to be very precise in this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, got it. Oh, it went to one too far, one too many. I wanted to get rid away from that big rig there. All right, this time I'm going to do it. This time I'm going to clear level one. Mind you, I am very rusty at this game. I'll take that fly, sure. Okay, one more to go. Can I do it, folks? Can I do it? Place your bets. Place your wagers now. Alright. Here we go. Level two. Yay. I got all five frogs home. Yay. Okay, now you got to deal with more cars. And I think in this one, the alligators come out, too. So you got to really watch where you land on the alligators. 
Don't want to land anywhere near the mouse. See, there's the alligator up there. You see it? I'm going to jump on his back. There you go. See, you can ride the alligators. Just don't go near their mouth. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too fast, too fast, too fast. to ride the alligator again? No, I'll, I'll, I'll bypass it. Oh, and watch out for those chomping teeth up there. You see that alligator? They hide in your home, too. You can never get an even break, can you? Okay, good. Phew. That was close. All right. Lady friend, come to Papa. All right. All right, I'll ride the alligator. Can I make it to level three? That's the big question, because I have very seldom do I make it to level three. There's a lady friend. Should I be dare to make, take a chance and go into the first home? No, I didn't quite make it. I wasn't quite there. Damn it. Damn it. Well, I got first place. That's Frogger on the arcade console. And now here we are on Frogger for the Atari 2600. As you can see, the Atari 2600 graphics aren't as glamorous as the arcade version, but that's just what makes this a classic. And you gotta understand, back in, you know, the 80s, late 70s, early 80s, the only home console system we had was the Atari 2600. And if you were wealthy enough, you could afford a ColecoVision, an Intellivision, any one of those Vision-type video games. Now, unlike the arcade version, this one will let you pass through the other side of the level, which makes going to uh, that first box a lot easier. See, look at that. You can just pass right through. They don't care. Oh, and I lost because I took too much time. Dang it. All right. Yeah, I'm not dealing with some very sophisticated graphics here, unfortunately, but what can you do? <coughs> oh, oh, shoot. Shoot. I overshot. I was watching the the row ahead of me and not the one directly ahead of me. Okay, hop the log, then hop the turtles. There we go. Not those turtles, those are the diving ones. I don't want those, well, okay, maybe I do. Just get him home. I don't care. Any home is a good home for Frogger. Alright. No, I don't think I'm going to make anything here. Oh, hey, hey, lady friend. Nice of you to show up. That's one of the benefits of going through the level. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah! Lady friend and a bug. Where can you go wrong? Yes, indeed. All right, let's do this. Let's go and get another lady friend. Come back around, and there she is. Come on over on board. I'll take you home. Take you home for a full night of rough... Well, you can't really say that on television, but... Oh, what happened? What happened? What was that? What was that tone? What was that tone? I have no idea what that tone was. It went dee 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 dee. And I doubt Frogger has a cell phone, so I doubt it was a text message coming through. Of course, this was back in the day before cell phones, but... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so, like I was saying before, it's not as sophisticated as the arcade version, but that's just the beauty of Atari 2600. It caused you to use your imagination. I mean, these things don't really look as much like cars as much as it does, you know, I mean, they, they do sort of resemble cars. You can also, you can look at it and say, okay, that's a car, but, you know, I mean, I've had Lego blocks that look more like cars than that. But they do try to stay as true to the arcade gameplay as possible on the Atari 2600. It's not really that bad. And so there you go. There's level one of Frogger on the Atari 2600. And it's been such a long time since I played this game. Now, you, now just like the arcade game, you're dealt with more cars and a more difficult, challenging level. Only these ones don't suddenly go fast. That's the only difference. They maintain the same speeds. But you got the alligator, and also you get that pair of teeth that show up in your home. Now, like, when has that ever, ever been a concern? Have you ever, like, come home from work one night, put your key in the door, you walk in the door, and, oh, my God, there's a pair of jaws going to eat you? When has that ever happened? Only in Frogger's world. 
Oh, and he got squished. He got squished. That's the tough part about crossing a highway, a five-lane highway. I mean, humans would never do this. Only Frogger would do this. Only Frogger would have the guts. And if you miss your your uh, your jump, then, of course, you're going to have guts all over the place. But only Frogger has guts to scale across a five-lane highway with this much traffic. Humans would never do this. I don't care if there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow after all of this. A, a human would not cross a busy five-lane highway. I don't care how insane you are. I don't care how hurt for money you are. You just wouldn't do that. All right, can I make it to level three? Level three is going to be interesting because then they also have snakes. You got to really watch out for them snakes because they show up right at the water's edge, so you gotta really watch out for snakes. Oh, there's a pair of jaws in my helm. Get out, get out. There we go. Level three, folks. Level three on the Atari 2600. Frogger. Okay, now we're dealing with more cars. Now you have a challenge. Okay, there's the snake. How in the hell can I make it through that? It's unusually difficult on level three try to survive it but that's frogger on the atari 2600 and that's all i can probably tolerate playing this primitive of a version of the game let's go to something a little more updated shall we and on to the sega genesis we're going 16 bit to play frogger 16 bit frogger on an 8 bit arcade console original this ought to be real good Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Can we start now, please? Maybe. Okay, yeah, I get it. I... Um, otters? Otters? The hell do you see otters on Frogger? I've never seen a single otter on Frogger. Okay, now it's got to go through the point system. Can we bypass any of this? I mean, I don't really need to know all of this. Okay, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. Can we... Get on with the game, please. It's pretty sad when they give you the entire instruction booklet before you even look at the game. Start. Yay, hey, there we go. Now, as you can see, the Sega Genesis version is pretty true to the arcade graphics. I mean, look at this. It looks just like the arcade. Sounds just like the arcade. It kind of makes me forget I'm playing on Sega Genesis. That 
is happy music, isn't it? That is very happy music. Oh, watch out for them. I almost took a beeline right up there. Oh, good thing I didn't. All right. Center one it is. Wasn't trying to make it to the first one, but it's sometimes your time isn't that perfect like that. Sometimes, and who ever heard of a frog that can't swim? I thought frogs love to swim. I thought they hung around in, you know, I mean, why do you think they hang around in, like, the swamps for their health? It's because they can swim. And Frogger, they can't swim for the dam. And I, yeah, those jaws were there. Well, it's either get trapped by the edge of the screen or jump into a home with jaws in it. Yeah, hell of a choice there, people, isn't it? All right, last one before we reach level three. How close that was! Oh, all right. We are on to another 16-bit title. This one's on the Super NES. Let's see how it compares to the Sega Genesis. Let's just see. One player. Oh, isn't that cute? That frog does not look amused. But as you can see, we got. It's way different graphics, different sound effects. It's not like the arcade. It's more enhanced. The cars look like cars. The trucks have been replaced by buses. The frog looks like it actually fro hops like a frog. And the water looks like water. How can you go wrong with the Super Nintendo version? Look at this. I'm impressed. The only thing we're missing, really, is the music. Oh, and I died with the lady friend on my back. Yeah, stick with me, baby. I'll show you life and living on the edge. You may die, but I'll show you life on the edge. Pop right there in the hole. There we go. All in all, though, I am... Oh, I got run over by a school bus. See, kids? We teach you about death real early. We just ran over a frog. And he's just trying to get home, that's all. He's just trying to get home. Do I get another frog flight? Nope, I know. But I get the lady friend home. That's an extra 200 points. Oh, that was close! Did you see that? I didn't even know those turtles were there. I took an extra leap. I did not know those turtles were there. And they just popped up out of the water. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I guess that makes up for it. I guess that makes up for it, folks. Nope, I didn't. I just missed the bus, so to speak. Okay, I wanted that lady friend. That's what I want. And I want that fly. Yeah, I got double. Whoa, watch out for that car. I almost got squashed. All right, lady friend again. Come on, lady friend. I'll take you home. I'll take you home. You may not survive, but I will try to take you home. Come on over, log. Thank you. All right. Got a lady friend. Got a fly waiting for me to eat him. Oh, and he disappeared. Oh, and I just missed it. I just... Oh, cute. Frog roadkill. 2,800. I've got to beat George, Allison, Brittany, John, and Karen. Who the hell are those people? I have no idea. But let's try this again. I want to get past level one on the Super NES version. All right. Now, we're devoid of the happy victory music, and we're just left with the sound effects, because I guess they wanted to make this game as realistic as possible, and it's not realistic to have a bunch of happy music playing in the background while you're a frog dodging cars, trying to land on turtles' backs, avoiding jaws and alligators, and trying to get a lady friend home so you can get some nookie that night. Isn't that just typical of the Super Nintendo to make it as realistic as possible? All right, lady friend, come on. All right, log, where are you? I need log. I need log. It's log. It's log. It's big. It's heavy. It's wood. I missed Ren and Stimpy. Hey, yeah, I got double points again. I guess it's easier to get double points on the Super N Nintendo version because the flies last longer. 
When the lady friends come out a lot more often. All right. We are on a roll, folks. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Dart across that traffic! Ooh, there's a fly. Can I get it? Can I get it? Got it. Right on. All right. And I got a lady friend waiting in the wings, or waiting on a log, as uh, this case may be. Oh, come on! You're not going to count that? Oh. I better be careful with this last life. Better be careful. I want the lady friend. At least let me make up some points and beat George or Carol or... Uh, Liz or whoever the hell those names were. All right, here we go. Don't mess up. Yeah, we got it. We passed level one on the Super Nintendo. Watch out for Bay Gators in level two. Well, we know that. If you're veterans of the arcade game, you know there are alligators here and diving turtles. So watch out. Watch yourself. That's the game here. And those jaws do appear in your home. Great. Like, when has that ever really been a problem? I cannot count the number of times I walk into my home and there's a set of jaws waiting for to eat me, eat me once I walk through the door. I just can't count the times that has ever happened to me. But you know what? I have a weird house. All right. Now look at all the dump trucks. There must be some construction going on. And what school lets out where there's like non-stop barrage of buses. I mean, I've seen a lot of school buses come out after, you know, when school lets out, but gosh, not that many buses. Alright, let's see if we can get up to where we need to be, and I'll take the middle one. It's quicker. I want to make it to level 3 on the Super NES version of this game. Grab the lady. Oh! Yeah, don't want to take too many rides on sinking turtles. That is very dangerous to a frog's health. Very hazardous. Okay, lady friend, are you coming out? No? The one time that you don't come out is the one time I land on that log. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Ah, no, I, no, I knew I wasn't going to make it. Okay, well, I didn't beat George, Allison, Brittany, John, or Karen... And that's pretty sad when I can't even beat Karen. I mean, from the way it looks, it looks like she's the worst player. I am worse than Karen! Who the hell is Karen? I have no idea. No clue whatsoever. But in order to get good at this game, you gotta beat George. George has the high score. You gotta beat him. That's your goal in this game. Beat George! Doesn't matter how high of a level you can get, doesn't matter what score you get, as long as it beats George, you're just okay. And it's very simple instructions, right? You know, you just gotta beat the uh, you know, the designers and developers of this game and probably the families of the developers. But that's that's your goal right there, and that's Frogger. Very simple game, very fun, very addicting. If you see this in the arcade, assuming you do have an arcade nearby you, uh, if you do see this game, pop a quarter in it and relive those old days of the 80s with some Frogger. I'm Sonic Blue. This has been Let's Play Frogger. Take it easy and see you next time.